I'm here with Sally Ride, NASA. Uh, uh, did, oh, okay. I'm here with Sally Ride, NASA astronaut extraordinaire. Thank you for letting me interview you today. How are you doing? Oh, it's my pleasure. It's great to be with you. Thank you. Now, I was very, I'm just very interested in science and engineering. I was actually a part of the scientists and engineering club at my school. So we just came from a panel session where you discussed about helping America get an edge in the world, in the global economy and everything. What do you think American students need to do to be more competitive? I think American students need to appreciate how important math and science education are to them and to their futures, no matter what career they're planning to go into. You know, and it starts in elementary school, middle school, and then on into high school, but if you don't get that foundation of good math and science in elementary and middle school, then it's going to be very hard for you to recover it in high school or in college, and um, you know, hopefully we'll generate a lot of rocket scientists and astronauts and environmental engineers from the group of students in um, elementary school and middle school today. But even if we, uh, even for those students who don't want to be rocket scientists, yeah, it's yeah, important yeah. for them to appreciate how important science and math are to their futures and their careers, no matter what career they go into. Because uh, the world is changing, um, the technology is becoming more and more important, and just having the basic skills that you learn in science and math courses are going to be absolutely essential for any job you want in the future. Now, you founded the Sally Ride Science Program that aims to engage kids in science. Can you tell me about a little about this program and some of its achievements? Yeah, thanks for asking. We um, focus on uh, students in about grades four through about grades nine, and we focus on those grades because those are some of the most critical grades for developing math and science skills. It's where we start to lose the students from math and science. They generally love science in third, fourth, fifth grade, and then they start to drift away from it, partly because they don't think it's important for them. Um, and our programs are all about showing them that it is important, that there are lots of other students just like them who are fascinated by it, and that there are lots of scientists and engineers who have very, very cool careers who do really interesting things that are very, very relevant to everyday life, uh, and try to get them to show the kids, the students, how, uh, how interesting those careers are. So we, we do a lot with, um, with educating the students in those grade ranges, and we do a lot to train the teachers of those students to help them engage the students in math and science. Now, how does your science program and your work with Change the Equation tie together? Um, Change the Equation is uh, uh, driven by corporate America, by CEOs of major corporations like Intel, like Xerox, Kodak, ExxonMobil, Sally Ride Science. Um, that are that have realized that science and math education are a business imperative. Um, we need it. Uh, we need to improve science and math education in this country if our country is going to compete globally, and if the generation of students in school today, um, as they grow older and enter the workforce, are going to have the skills that they need. So Change the Equation is, has rallied corporate America around the importance of science and math education, and Sally Ride Science is very closely associated with that because that's exactly what we believe and the programs that we develop and that we run are aimed in, direct, in exactly that direction. Now, most girls aren't interested in the STEM studies. Why do you think that is? Actually, it turns out that a lot of girls are interested in science, um, engineering, math, uh, when they're in third or fourth grade. But then, um, you know, starting in fifth, sixth, seventh grade, they start to move away from it. And a lot of that is just because of the culture. They may not be expected to go on in science. Um, you know, a, a, a young girl who says that she wants to be an electrical engineer, you know, she might get a little different reaction from her friends than a, a 11 or 12 year old boy might get. And, you know, uh, girls are really smart and they start to pick up on those signals and they start to think, well, maybe science um, isn't for me. And they go on to something else. Even though they liked it in third grade, they were curious, they were really interested. 
And what we're finding is that a lot of girls really do have that interest. They really are fascinated by science and, and by, ma by math. And that just getting a little bit of encouragement, um, seeing women who've gone into those fields and who have very rewarding careers and who love what they do, and seeing um, college women who are majoring in physics, majoring in engineering, ma majoring in, uh, in medicine, um, helps them see a path for themselves in those careers and is really increasing the number of girls who are going into science. Now, I'd go, like to go back a little and ask you about what it was like to be the first female astronaut in space. Were you ever afraid? <laughs> well, first of all, it was very, very cool. And, um, you know, I'll never admit that I was afraid. <laughs> um, but it was really, it was an exhilarating experience. Um, you know, if you're not a little bit scared just before you launch, then you're not a normal human being. I think all astronauts will admit to being uh, just a little bit anxious at the time that the rocket the rocket launches but we're all really well trained um, we're all really well prepared for it and we're all really excited about the chance to get to go into space and I was I was just like that so when you were a kid did you want to be an astronaut I did. When I was a, when I was a, a young girl, um, I always wanted to be a scientist. I always loved science. It was my favorite subjects in school. Um, I also loved sports, so I was outside all the time. Um, but I grew up in the early days of the space program when almost all kids wanted to be astronauts. And I was just one of, one of those kids who, who dreamed of getting a chance to strap into a rocket and launch into space and dreamed of getting a chance to be weightless in, in orbit and look back at Earth. And before we go, what advice do you have for kids who take an interest in science and technology? I think my best advice is um, stay involved in it, stay interested in it, because it's not only is it really rewarding, is it really an interesting um, set of subjects, but it's really an important set of subjects, and it's important no matter what you're going to go into. You know, you're building the, the foundation that's going to let you take advantage of uh, whatever opportunity comes your way when you graduate from high school or graduate from college. And without that basic foundation in math and science, you may not have a lot of opportunities open to you. So it's really, really important to, uh, uh, to pay attention in those subjects and to get as much as you can out of them. Okay, thank you so much. It was very nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Okay.